Hey there everybody on YouTube, Basement15 with another review. This time it's going to be of a Spring Airsoft pistol, the Walther P99. Picked it up from uh, Meyer here, just down the street for about uh, 40 bucks. That's a good little gun, I have to say. Compared with the bigger gun, the Cybergun PT247, it is a much smaller, much more compact, and much lighter gun. Let's get right into it here. Uh, going over the gun, you have the Walther logo there. You have your standard orange tip. Uh, you have your P99, your seal number. And granted, there's little scuffs on the gun. I've had it for a couple years now. Uh, so that is, you know, expected. Um, here you've got your trigger. No part of this gun besides the safety switch, which is, you know, less than a quarter inch, is metal. Um, you got your... Uh, Open ejection port, easier to unjam BBs and such. Your standard, uh, you know, nothing special about the the aim, the uh, sights. You got your Walther down here in the grip. You got your clip with a Walther and a P99 uh, insignia down there. Got your clip release here. There goes the clip, and the gun just became much lighter. Overall, very light, very compact, very small. I would compare it to, say, a James Bond kind of gun. He likes to use the smaller pistols and sometimes uses the bigger guns on his cars and such. Um, but uh, this is sort of what he uses. Uh, pros of the gun? Uh, the gun? You, uh, the grip. Uh, the grip is definitely a pro. It conforms to the hand very well. No matter what size hand you've got, it conforms to it very, very nicely. Uh, another pro? It's very light. Very, uh, you know, lightweight. The shooting is another pro, and I will put another video on uh, after I do the review of the gun um, showing the accuracy of the overall weapon. I do enjoy it. Another pro, a heavy clip. Uh, most of these little Walmart special $10 guns are going to break on you if you drop them, or a dog gets a hold of them in like two seconds. It's made, they're made in God knows where. The overall clip, though, is the heaviest part of the gun. And which brings me to the cons. One of the cons, not a speed reload. It takes a very long time to push all those BBs in. D decent clip size, eh, I think 15 to 18, maybe a little less. I think the Taurus PT-24-7 over here has 18 to 20, and this gun has like a 10 to 15, somewhere in that range, 10, 12, somewhere in there. Um, but it's just the, the hassle of reloading, and in a quick fight, it's almost like back in World War, you know, one when they're battling with like your standard muskets. You know, it just takes a while. You got to get the ball and the powder. It's the same thing here. You got to sit there and put everyone in. And BBs are so small these days. You have to make sure you get it in your hand right. If it slips out of your hand, there it goes. You gotta... So it takes a long time to reload. Um, but once you get it loaded, you know, quick release on the clip. You know, and you could uh, stand it up. Boom, right back there in the gun, load it very quickly, and boom, pull the trigger. Load it very quickly, boom, pull the trigger. I'm more of a fan of uh, gas guns, even though the fact that I, I'm not a participant, active participant in any airsoft wars, uh, or, you know, just gun battles overall, but, you know, gas guns, you load it real quick, pow, 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 as fast as you can pull that trigger. Uh, these, you gotta reload, shoot, reload, shoot, reload, shoot. That's a standard uh, spring pistol. Uh, so now I've gone over all the pros and cons of the guns and what the gun looked like and how it feels lightweight, compact, and such. Let me open up the open ejection port, which makes it easier to unload jam BBs and hop load, uh, hop load your, um, your BBs there. You know, put one in, boom, lock it, shoot it. Um, this is what it looks like fully open. It does tend, if you do to get this gun, uh, the catch does catch it quite a bit. You have to make sure that your hand is away from it because it's so easy to just have your thumb be there when you're loading it and push that up. Suddenly it's locked. You go to shoot it. Uh-oh. It's jammed. That breaks it very easy. You know, then when you shoot, there's a BB stuck in there. It could come out. You know, you could be aiming at something wrong. Uh, that is definitely a con. Another con. Uh, not too many cons. We've only got the the clip and uh, the overall, you know, pulling back of the gun to get it cocked, it does tend to lock in that little space. As with the PT-24-7, you have to put a little bit of pressure 
on it, you know, just like the safety switch, you have to put a little pressure on it to get it to move up. But um, definitely a very quick, agile gun. I like it a lot. Small, compact. And anybody who's definitely thinking about buying this gun, I would give it an A-OK. -okay. I'd give it a four and a half out of five stars. No gun's perfect. You know, it's a gun. It's uh, medium price range. You can definitely find a lot, you know, higher and better grade guns. Um, but for the beginner, definitely a great gun. Even for the medium, you know, skill level, definitely a good gun. Higher skill level, you know, you're going to want a gun that shoots in the same area every time. I will put another video on YouTube showing the skills uh, of this, uh, the accuracy, I should say, of this gun. And I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and there'll be another video up on YouTube very shortly about the accuracy of the gun. Thank you very much.